We can also talk about slopes and perpendicular lines, but that requires a little bit more careful work with similar triangles. So I'm going to draw you some pictures, and the punchline will be to tell you a simple way to figure out the slope of the perpendicular to any given line. So here's some line. And I'm going to draw another line now that's perpendicular to it. Here's the triangle that shows me the slope of the line I started with. And here's a triangle that shows me a slope of the perpendicular line. Now, in my example, these lines have nice slopes. This first line has slope up to right three, two-thirds. And the perpendicular line has slope down three, right two, so negative three-halves. But this is what I want you to notice about these two triangles. This angle and this angle are the same. These are both right angles. This angle and this angle add up to a right angle. But now check this out. I'm going to make another copy of the blue triangle. So this angle down here and this angle up here are the same, right? Because this triangle and this triangle are congruent. All their sides agree. But that means that this angle here and this angle down here add up to a right angle, which means that this angle down here and this angle up here have to be the same as each other. If these two angles are the same, that must mean that the purple triangle and the blue triangle are similar triangles. And that isn't special to these two triangles. It's not just because this length is 3 and this length is 2. This length could be A and this length B. It's not because this length is 2 and this length is 3. This length could be C, and this length could be D. These two triangles will definitely be similar. In particular, I'm going to write short side over long side, short side over long side. These two fractions are going to have to be equal. The slope of the first line is just its rise over its run, b over a. The slope of the second line, well, its rise is, is totally not c, right? Its rise is d, but it points downward. So its rise is negative d, and its run is c. So its slope is its rise, negative d, over c. The slope of the first line, b over a, because of the similar triangles, is equal to c over d. What's the relationship between the numbers c over d and negative d over c? Well, they have opposite signs from each other, and they are reciprocals of each other. And that's going to work out in general, any time we have two perpendicular lines. If two lines are perpendicular, their slopes are opposite reciprocals. So that means to get the slope of a perpendicular line, we swap the sign and take the reciprocal. 
We can actually use this to draw perpendicular lines. Here's an example. I want to use the slope to draw a line perpendicular to the given line through the given point. Let me give you a line and a point. Here's a line and here's a point. I want to draw a line perpendicular to this line. One way I can do it is, well, first I figure out the slope. If I go one unit to the right, I have to go up three units to stay on the line. So the slope of the given line is three, which we can think of as the fraction three over one. Therefore, the slope of the perpendicular line, this number is positive, so the slope of the perpendicular line will be negative. This number is 3 over 1. The slope of the perpendicular line will be its reciprocal, 1 over 3. So that means I go right 3 down 1, thinking of this as negative 1 over positive 3. Write 3 down 1. Now I carefully draw a line through those two points, and I see that these really are perpendicular. See here, these two lines do in fact meet at a right angle. So that really did work.